Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a discussion on using drone backing tracks to help improve our trumpet technique. The concept of a drone is not new. The earliest of the hardware tuners, the better quality ones, provided the ability to sound a note and change that note, manually change that note, and there's a drone, a single tone drone, which is very helpful if you're trying to pitch notes. Times have changed, we can now download apps that have a real variety of great sounding drones. I'm a band in the box supporter, I love band in a box, and I use that software product to create whatever drones I want, using different chord progressions, keys, different sets of instruments. Now in today's tutorial, we're going to focus on just the trumpet mouthpiece. I'm going to use it in combination with this fantastic device called the Warburton Buzzard. This is just a buzzing accessory. You put the trumpet mouthpiece into the receiver. You've now got a really well balanced way to hold your mouthpiece. And there's just enough added resistance by this device to better simulate the feel when you blow the mouthpiece compared to when you play the mouthpiece in a trumpet. But by all means, just play along with these exercises and, and practice them on your own using just the mouthpiece. There's just a little difference in the color of the sound versus the first thing we can do as an exercise with the trumpet mouthpiece and a drone is to try and match the pitch. So I've just put that Korg tuner set to the note E flat for trumpet, so second and third valve, first line of the music stave in B flat trumpet pitch. That's E flat. Let's see if we can match that just by producing the note on our mouthpiece. So you can practice long tones, you can practice some tonguing exercises. You can just do all the normal drills that you might do from a technical point of view on your trumpet, but forcing yourself to produce those tones match to a reference point on the trumpet mouthpiece on its own. Now, another great thing to do on the trumpet mouthpiece is sirens or glissandos. Now, if we put our drone on, we can practice doing a long glissando, a long fall off from that second, from the first line, second and third valve E flat note on the trumpet, down to pedal E flat. So down into the pedal range of the trumpet. And let's try and do that on our mouthpiece. Now we can practice that quicker and slower. We can do a quick fall off again with the drone. Or we can try that glissando in reverse, this time ascending. Now, everything that we could do on the trumpet mouthpiece or the trumpet mouthpiece with a buzzing aid like the buzzard, we can also do using a lead pipe. So this is a standalone lead pipe. You can use the lead pipe on your trumpet by just totally removing the tuning slide. Therefore, the air will just come straight out the end of the lead pipe. But I think there's merit in investing in a standalone lead pipe. It puts a lot of independence on your practice. It's now you've got to make these notes quite independently of the trumpet and particularly of any bad habits you might currently have when holding the trumpet, like pushing, pulling back too hard into your face. So here we are on a standalone lead pipe. If we put our drone on, we can play that note E flat. We can then try and play a E flat major scale. We 
we can try some glissandos up and down. I'm going to round out this tutorial now by putting up a music score on the screen that has five separate exercises. Each line on the music score can be used as a separate exercise to be played over and over again with a drone backing. I'm also using one of the Band in the Box created drone backings using their real tracks, real instruments, real players, so you've got a real band to play along with here. And I'll put the drone track on for about four minutes so that there's plenty of time for you to actually practice the exercises that I'll demonstrate only once on the first playthrough. I'll then just leave the drone track playing and you can use that to make up your own exercises or practice some of the ones that I've given you on repeat. Hope you've enjoyed this and got something out of it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy your journey on the trumpet.